Although IT stocks have suffered, some still provide solid values for investors. Join me right away Oakmark Bill Nigren, Chief Investment Officer for U.S. Equities and Portfolio Manager Bill, it's nice to see you back in the studio. We appreciate you coming. I appreciate the opportunity. So, according to your investing strategy, you seek out companies that you believe will outperform over the long term while attempting to ignore market conditions. However, I still want to ask you about market conditions. Increasing but obstinately well, at Oakmark, we've been investing in the 5-7 to seven year time frame for more than 30 years, and during that time, there has always been something in the macro environment that would encourage an investor to give up on stocks and think that they should not own them for a while. However, over that 30-year period, the SP500 has increased. This is despite the Fed's attempt to cool down the job market. How should investors be thinking about that dichotomy? There is a famous Warren Buffett quote that goes, Price is what you pay, quality is what you get. When I look at the chart of your fund over the past two years, it seems like a good example of this. At least in 2021, you outperformed your peers by 96%, and so far this year, you're outperforming them by 10%. However, the companies haven't changed that much, rather, the market is assigning a different price to those stocks. How do you think about that? How should investors think about that? Well, in the Elkmark Fund, We've owned a lot of businesses with very low P.E. ratios, so one of the surprises was when interest rates rose this year. We anticipated that would be good for bank stock prices and for the sector's fundamentals, but due to recession worries, bank stocks have underperformed the SP500 this year. I was going to focus on Tech First Alphabet, an amazing company with a huge moat and alligators and crocodiles sprinkled throughout, but the market hasn't been kind to that company this year. Many people mistakenly view Alphabet as a technology company because of what they do in the other bet segment, such as autonomous driving and the like, but their core business is more akin to a typical media business that sells magazines. I believe that many technology companies that have been investing for super normal growth going forward have scaled back a little bit this year on the employee count. Let's look at another example of that Facebook. I've got to say the corporate governments they're not really, but there's still room to trim there. YouTube, on the other hand, we think it gets down to barely a double digit PE on the search, business, and others room to trim there. We believe that APA's free cash flow yield, which is double digits despite this year's increase, is very attractive to investors given that it is returning to them in the form of dividends and share repurchases, which is a significant development for the sector. Bill, before I let you go because we are running out of time, let me just mention Netflix because we spoke about it a year ago and the increase in advertising since then has been quite significant. In order to attract customers who don't want to pay a full monthly fee and aren't particularly bothered by the interruptions of the ads, Netflix can lower the price by taking advantage of the fact that subscribers watch so many hours of Netflix. We believe this will lead to an increase in their subscriber base. Market binging benefits advertisers bill. If you loved the video please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel.